We start our process flow with the delivery of straw bales. This plant is able to process straw bales of 4 by 8 feet size and these straw bales are delivered by big trucks. The truck is able to take up two to three layers at once and each of the layers consists of 10 straw bales which are then taken by an overhead crane which places these 10 straw bales on subsequent conveyors. After a buffer conveyor we have a shuttle belt or a shuttle conveyor which brings these bales to the next station which is a destringing machine. The destringing machine takes off the strings and loosens up the bales so that we have straw which is easier to process in the subsequent stations and uh, the next station which is just after the destringer is a chopper. The chopper is similar to what most of the people might know as a as a drum chipper from the normal MDF process. However, this is a drum chipper with an open rotor to pre-chop the straw and to reduce the size for subsequent processing. After the choppers, we have a total of four hammer mills to further reduce the size of our straw. After these hammer mills, the straw has a size of approximately two to three centimeters in length which is the perfect size to refine them in the subsequent refining section. The next machine in the process flow are our specially designed air separators, where we separate foreign and heavy materials from the raw material flow. Especially dusty air has been taken out here, dusty air that everyone of us knows from the big harvesting machines on the fields, when they harvest straw or grass or something like that, they have a lot of dust in the air and we don't want that in the process flow, so we take it out here with the means of air separating machines. From the air separators, we bring the material by pneumatic conveyors to our refining section. In this plant, we have a total of two refiners with horizontal cookers, which is something special for, for um, annual plants. Horizontal cookers are needed since this light material of rice straw tends to build up bridges and it needs a mechanical transport to really bring that material, to push that material into the subsequent refining section. The refiners discharge the material into a standard flash tube dryer. The flash tube dryer is something that every one of us knows from normal MDF processes. It's been operated with hot gases at a temperature of roughly 180 degrees and the total capacity of this dryer is approximately 28 tons per hour. In a usual MDF process, we would blend the material before the flash tube dryer in the blow line after the refiner. However, due to the low bulk density of the material, this is being done differently here in the processing of rice straw. In rice straw plants, we do mechanical blending on the dry side, so after the flash tube dryer. What we're doing here is we bring the material with long bell conveyors to turbo blenders, which are installed in a separate building. These turbo blenders are mechanical blenders. From the working principle, they are quite similar to what you might know from the particle board process. However, these blenders, which we see here, are operating at a very high rotation speed. And um, this is a special development for rice straw plants and a machine that we patented uh, from Simplecam. After the turbo blenders, we bring the material back towards the flash tube dryer to a conventional MDF sifter, where we take out blue lumps and agglomerations and everything else that we don't want to see in the forming section. The sifters that you see here are development from company Simplecamp, and these are also available for normal and usual MDF plants. This is the Simplecamp Eco Sifter. Out of the sifters, we have a pneumatic transport to our forming station. From here, we are pretty much in a normal MDF process. We have a mechanical forming machine with a mechanical forming head. Um, subsequent to the forming machine, we have an equalizer to equalize the mat which we just spread. And from there, we bring the mat through a pre-press and a compactor into the main press, which is our Simplecamp Conti Roll Press.
Subsequent to the forming line, we enter into the main machine of the MDF process, which is a simple comp Conti Roll Generation 9 with main dimensions 10 feet in width and 40 meters of length. This press is equipped with all the special features that Zimplecamp has to offer. It has pressure distribution plates for an almost isobaric pressure over the complete length and width of the press. It has our energy saving echo drive concept and all further features and details that our customers know from our normal MDF plants which we successfully start up around the world. Subsequent to the Conti roll, we enter into the cooling and stacking line where the endless board is being cut into long master boards. After these master boards have been stored for a few days in our intermediate storage, we enter into the last step of the process. Here we first sand both surfaces of the board before we cut the master board into the required final board sizes, which are then being packed and dispatched.